Hi friends, I'm Jenica Hill and welcome to or welcome back to my channel which is all about embracing and celebrating your full magical self. Because you my friend are magical. If you're new here please hit that subscribe button and please hit the little bell notification so that you can get notified every time I make a new video and I post them on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern time. This week, I will be sharing a compilation video of my first trimester experience being pregnant for the first time. I filmed a video about once a week during my first trimester on the slide because I wasn't telling the YouTube verse yet about my pregnancy, but I made a video two weeks ago sharing my pregnancy, so now I'm sharing my first trimester experience. Why? Because when I first found out I was pregnant, and even before I knew I was pregnant because I was already having symptoms, I found it so helpful to look up videos about other people's experiences, to feel less alone, and also to compare myself to other people. Granted, this is just my experience, and everybody's experience is really different, which is what I found when I looked it up, because when I looked, I realized that some people's experience was not mine at all. And just so you know, I experienced implantation bleeding, which is like, it looks like spotting and it happens when the embryo implants into your uterus. And I thought it was just spotting from my period. And I looked up a video about spotting versus implantation bleeding. And that video made me believe that I was just spotting because of how it looked and what this woman was saying, my intuition was right, it was implantation bleeding. I thought I was pregnant because I was peeing a lot, apparently from blood flow increasing. I was feeling a little bit nauseous already when I would smell certain things. My boobs were already getting sore and I just felt off. I just felt weird. My body felt weird. I was having cramping. Um, not intense cramping like during my period, but a little bit of cramping and it wasn't like period cramping. It was, but it wasn't. It can be very confusing when you think you might be pregnant because it does feel like you're getting your period. But I also wasn't sure if I just had a cyst or something was wrong with me. So also if you think something's going on, obviously go to your doctor. Point being, this is just my experience. Everybody is different. And so if you are having your own experience, you know, watching YouTube videos can help give you some sort of idea of what other people have experienced, but it doesn't mean that's the answer for you. So keep that in mind. This is just to share what my first trimester experience was like. In case you're pregnant and you're like, what's it going to be like throughout the first trimester? Or you're like, I wonder if other people have had the same experience as me. I will say as a general overview of my first trimester, I'm currently 19 weeks, so I'm out of my first trimester. I have been for a little while and my energy levels are a lot better, but as an overview, I was so tired. And I would get really nauseous when I didn't eat right away or when I didn't eat frequently throughout the day, but I didn't vomit that much. I vomited once when I ate papaya in a smoothie and I got nervous about it because I read that you're not supposed to have young papaya. And I called all these smoothie shops asking if this particular smoothie place used young papaya or mature papaya or ripe papaya in their smoothies and they were like i don't know i'm sure they didn't use young papaya clearly i don't know enough about papaya but i made myself vomit because i was nervous about that and i vomited a couple times in my second trimester when i've walked in the heat and felt nauseous or if i didn't eat right away in the morning but otherwise i didn't vomit that much and i know some people are vomiting like every day some people have hyperemesis and they're vomiting throughout the whole pregnancy so kudos to you mamas who are dealing with that luckily I didn't have to deal with that but I was just very very tired and I was very busy at the very beginning of my pregnancy so if you look back you'll notice I'm wearing the same clothes that I'm wearing in my different videos throughout the weeks and so I was trying to film these videos that weren't about pregnancy but like all I was thinking about was the fact that I was pregnant and exhausted and nauseous and like all the things. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoy this compilation video. If you have no interest in learning about first trimester symptoms or seeing what my experience was like, 
you can move along and wait for the next video, which won't be about pregnancy. <laughs> but, you know, if it interests you, I hope you enjoy. Okay. I just filmed a video and my brain feels foggy because I got a positive pregnancy test last Wednesday and Thursday. I took like probably three or four tests total over last week. So I'm pregnant. It's very new. So I'm just gonna start documenting things as I can while I'm filming other videos. So if you saw my video about creative limitlessness, then you probably know that it was a very uh, foggy, tired rant. And um, I didn't know that when you get pregnant, your body changes right away. Like, I felt weird all month, okay? This was the first time my husband and I tried, okay? So I didn't think this would happen. My boobs are really heavy. My nipples are like so sore and like hard and they started hard, but that sounded, but they started changing color. Like I had like pressure in my pelvic region for a while. I started getting that like cervical fluid that's creamy or whatever that I've read about. I'm pregnant. I don't know how to feel. It doesn't feel real. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I can't like stop thinking about it all the time because I'm terrified but also so excited. And I'm just gonna document like my journey until I can actually tell people that I'm pregnant. But oh man, I have been watching Femhead on YouTube constantly and um, I have just started charting my cycle using the FAM method. Um, like a month that the same month that I got pregnant life is crazy life is really crazy and it's about to get crazier that's it for this update I'm like five weeks so it's so new and I haven't even told my family yet because I don't want to get them all excited before like the safe zone you know anyway um thanks for listening <laughs> pregnancy update I am like five weeks and four days along. Yesterday, my temperature, my BBT, it's a basal body temperature and you track it. And if it's high for 18 plus days, then you know you're pregnant. And if it drops multiple days in a row, then it can be a sign of miscarriage. So mine had dropped a few days in a row and I was super nervous because I was like, oh no, I obviously don't want to have a miscarriage and I know how common it is and I have many friends who've experienced it and um, so I panicked but I also knew that you're supposed to check your temperature after you've been asleep for at least a solid hour or two and I had been tossing and turning so I thought maybe that's why my temperature was lower. Anyway, so that's the latest update. My nipples are still huge. My boobs are super veiny. If this is TMI for you, don't watch this video. And I get like random cramps here and there and I'm very, my digestive system is totally different than it's ever been. And then also a job that I, I do kind of part-time just asked for my availability for next year and I had to basically tell them that I'm pregnant before I told my parents because <laughs> they were asking about my availability and I was like, well, if this pregnancy goes well, then I will be giving birth around our busy time. Sorry. Tends to happen that way for me. Okay, um, that's it. Okay, a little pregnancy update for you. I am seven weeks as of tomorrow, and today I felt truly nauseous for the first time, although I did not throw up. So, knock on wood. Otherwise, um, I just had a shoot this whole weekend for our show Intersection, and I'm just really tired. That's the majority of it. I'm really tired, and I just feel like um, my body's like doing a lot without me actually moving around. I have a. I'm, I'm checking out the Atlanta Birth Center. Uh, tomorrow night over Zoom, I'm doing like a meet the midwives thing, and I truly just can't wait to get an ultrasound or something so that I, or you know, just see 
what's actually in there because even though I took like another pregnancy test last week just to make sure I really was pregnant and it said pregnant it was one of those digital ones where it's like pregnant not pregnant I mean you can't get any clearer than that you know and it said I was pregnant still um but I would love some confirmation with like you know a little heartbeat or whatever so that's what's up it's crazy crazy times my boobs are still real veiny real big it's weird okay thanks for listening okay quick pregnancy update i'm eight weeks along today basically i just got done filming my series with with a team not just mine our series intersection this past weekend and let me just tell you as someone who has had pretty much an unlimited supply of energy my whole life i was very frustrated to get so tired on the last day that i literally had to say to our executive producer and my friend i'm at a wall and i have nothing left to give it's really frustrating not having as much energy as you're used to having also, um, I still feel, I feel like weird crampies, but not painful, but just feels like stuff's going on in my uterus and my boobs are still heavy and veiny. I feel like I'm already gaining a lot of weight because I'm really hungry. And even though I've been feeling nauseous in the mornings, I figured out a hack for myself. Now this probably doesn't work for everyone, but for myself, I just have to eat right away in the morning and then I won't get nauseous so far, knock on wood. But if I eat right away, then I don't feel as nauseous. And during the day, if I don't eat for a long period of time, I might get nauseous too. So I just have to eat regularly. Who knew? I'm really excited to tell my family about this, but I'm waiting until the second trimester. Because, you know, safety. And I don't know. It's really surreal. I feel terrified some days. I feel... Like I'm ill-equipped many days. I worry that I'm going to lose myself in this experience. Um, I've been watching the, not, net, the, Netflix, the Netflix documentary Babies, and it's really informative, but watching how tired the parents are is really freaking me out. But I'm excited, too, and I, you know, I have like a secret Pinterest board and all that. <sighs> you know when you just like don't want to be a stereotype? That's happening to me, too. I'm like, I don't want to be a stereotype. I don't know why I'm so afraid of being a stereotype. These are just my little confessions. I also, um, yeah, I'm just really tired and sometimes really grumpy. And my husband's been a, just a real gem in that sense. <sighs> what else? I got into a birth center, I think. I got cleared for, cleared for um, care. And I'm realizing how shitty it is that birth centers aren't allowed to take people over a certain BMI or people over a certain age who are having their first kid or people who have had preterm births in the past, things like that. That really bothers me. Anyway, that's my update. That's all I have. I can't believe I have to wait another month to tell my family. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. But I'm sort of just trying to enjoy this little time where it's like sort of a secret and only a few people know who like needed to know and, and you know, me and my husband know. Anyway, okay, that's it. I'm rambling. Um, thanks for listening. <laughs> and um, yeah, bye. Pregnancy update. 10 weeks. I feel not great emotionally. Physically, I feel fine. I don't feel as nauseous in the mornings, although I do need to eat right away and I need to eat throughout the day. But I just feel honestly so tired and just so unmotivated to do anything that used to make me happy. And I hope this goes away in a few weeks because I would like to have some motivation back. You know, I, I want to love being pregnant. Right now, I don't love it, to be honest. I was feeling so tired and just like, I don't know, I, d I knew that today my, my big task was filming my YouTube video. And I was like, okay, 
I can do this. And, you know, I got some stuff done on the computer in the morning, and then I watched TV. I've been binging Good Girls because my friend Carlos is on that show. Hey, Carlos. And uh, I got up because I was like, Jenica, get your shit together. Go, you know, get dressed, put makeup on. I did, which felt good. Then I hit my head on the wall next to my toilet, and it hurt pretty bad, and my head hurts a little bit. It wasn't like so hard that I'm worried about myself, but you know, it kind of like dazed me a little bit. And then I just started crying, and I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> and I did, obviously. I actually thought to myself, what good could come of this state? And I was like, oh, I guess people could see how it really is. And so I got on and I started honestly telling my story to the camera in tears. And then my battery died on the camera. So, you know, I know this isn't that bad of a day. Like, I get it. But if you're used to having a lot of energy and then all of a sudden you don't, that's how I'm feeling right now. So... That's just the honest truth, people. Yeah, that's my update. But otherwise, I feel okay. <laughs> Starting to feel weird about what is my life gonna be now, you know? Like, I'm excited, but I'm also like super nervous and <sighs> like, what's my identity gonna be? All the questions, all the questions. Till next time. Ooh, okay, pregnancy update. I am currently, I'm almost 11 weeks. I'm like 10 weeks and five days, maybe. I feel I felt nauseous just doing my entire YouTube video because all I've had today is a donut and water and I need to eat more food. Ooh, I felt like saliva. Ooh, just felt like I had to vomit. Also, um my uterus has started to stretch out a little bit and so it's like uncomfortable sometimes get a little bit of cramping not like cramping cramping but just like discomfort and i read that that's normal i have my very first appointment coming up this week and i have this like irrational fear that i've made this all up and i'm gonna go and they're gonna be like you're not pregnant and i'm gonna be like what <laughs> But, but what? Oh, the other thing is my boobs feel huge. My nipples like look different. It's so weird. Our bodies are so weird, but also beautiful. Anyway, that's my update. I feel nauseous. I'm gonna stop recording now. Little pregnancy update. I am now almost 12 weeks. Um, not quite 12 weeks, but we did tell our parents this uh, Friday night. I have been sneakily doing family Zooms. Um, not sneakily, but I've been like, let's, excuse me, let's have a family Zoom so that it felt normal. Then I didn't tell both sides of our families that they would both be on the Zoom call, so they all get on. Then we faked them out with saying that we bought a new car and that that was our news, and then we told them, and it was really fun. And so now a lot of people know, um, which makes it feel really real, but it's also fun because I think new life in the world brings a lot of people a lot of joy. I know it does for me when people tell me about their new, new babies coming and things. Um, but it's very weird because I still don't feel like a, like a mom. I think I have so much baggage around that, like being a mom, right? I don't know where that comes from, but moms come in all shapes and sizes and sexualities and orientations and gender identities and it's just it's a new world you know but i think i'm getting some energy back i don't feel like barking every two seconds um when i'm really hungry or when i'm doing these videos i still have a lot of extra saliva happening um but i have energy again finally and that is a great feeling i hope it continues throughout my second trimester once it begins, um, boobs are still huge, but I think that will just continue until that baby stops eating from them. Anyway, this is, this is a probably a lot, um, but thank you for listening. <laughs> a little pregnancy update. 
I'm 14, almost 15 weeks, 15 weeks and two days from today, I think. And I'm already showing people. Like, my friend who just had twins apparently wasn't even showing this much at this time. What does this mean? I don't know. Does it freak me out? A little. It's fine. <laughs> Crazy, right? That's a baby. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching my first trimester experience. I will be sharing more about my pregnancy experience. If there's anything that you'd like to know about in terms of what being pregnant has been like for me, that feels very self-absorbed to ask, but feel free to tell me in the comments or if there's any questions you have or anything that you've experienced that you're like, did you experience this? Then I'm happy to make a video about that. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down because that also helps the algorithm. I hope that you have a wonderful week and that you had a great Memorial Day weekend. And as always, please go out and be your full magical self because the world needs you just as you are. Oh,